the number of the pencil I'm using will appear in the corner of your screen. Hello, I'm Colin Bradley. We're going to be dealing with the chimp. Now before you can start colouring, you've got to produce a drawing. Place the transfer carbon between your photocopy and the drawing paper. And using a sharp pencil, go over the lines and trace through to the drawing paper beneath. Now you carry on tracing the image through and when you've finished it will look like that and you're ready to start the drawing. Now we're going to start with the ear and first of all we need some white to brighten up the tone of the ear. Now following on we use the ivory and now we need to bring in some depth and what I'm doing is using here the a dark ochre to start producing the shape of the ear and again down there. We don't want a hard line, it's more of shading. And on the very edge of the ear we put the same colour. Now I'm now adding a little bit of the warm ochre you see a little bit ready so what it will do it will give us a little bit more of a skin tone to the picture. We don't want too much on it but that warms it up nicely and then we need to put some depth in. Now here I'm using the dark brown and we carefully to start with put a little bit of weight in there like that and in here too. Now we'll start off with a bit of a line and then we have to fade that line back. So I use the side of the point of the pencil again and then we need a little bit of shadow in here. Like that. A little, little tickle at the top of the ear. Like that. Just put a bit of weight in. Pull that round and that's uh, looking good. Now I'm just going to use the ivory pencil just to blend in the skin of the ear to make it a little bit more natural looking. And then I'm going to use the colour we first introduced, which is the dark ochre, just to soften the edge of that line, otherwise it would be too harsh. And I think we'll add a, just a little bit here to increase the shadow. And then we'll call that a day. Just a little bit more depth that and we can leave it at that for the time being. Before we actually go on to the hair we do need to put just a little bit of skin that's showing through where the hair is parting on the centre of the head. So here we we'll start with ivory and then use the ochre, the dark ochre. Uh, not much, we just want to give the impression that we can see the skin. Now we're going to start the ball rolling on the hair. First of all I'm going to use a grey and we come from that central area across the animal and as we come around it turns. And it's really important every stroke is worked in the direction the hair lies and then comes the other way you come on the other side of the head. And this is the other ear. You're not seeing the other ear, it's covered with the hair but the shape is there. Now on top of the grey we're going to use the dark ochre. Exactly the same as before. Now that's really, those two colours are the base colours for the colours we're going to be adding now. The first of those is the dark brown. Uh, 
And there's, here we're going to start coming into the there's another bald spot, if you like. The next colour we're going to use is a very dark greyish brown. And this colour is going to start the ball rolling on the, the depth. You can see what a difference it does make. I'm not worrying too much about the ears at the moment until the next application. What we're going to do is to use the paper blender and this will give us a more solid look to the fur. You see the difference between what I've done with this and the bit that I haven't. Now what we do now is use the black and the black will give us now the hair effect using the colour underneath to give us the various degrees of tone that we want. Again, cut up just to the ear, but don't go beyond it. Okay, now that's enough black put on. What we do now is swap pencils to the very dark greyish brown and to continue with that. Now we can now continue to go over the top of the ear with that. The reason I didn't like the black, the black would have been too harsh. And then just a few coming in here suggesting that. Now we can move on to the exciting part, face and the eyes. We're going to start by putting a little light as we did with the ear in the lightest part, where the light catches it. I choose to do the surround of the eyes first, because it gives me a setting in which to place the eye. Now, the ivory takes over, and that goes into the fur line, or hairline, down, and into the shadow areas. Okay, now we now need to put some ivory over the top of the white. But this of course will be much lighter because we've got the white underneath it. Now we're going to use the dark ochre to start defining the shadow areas and the edges. Go over the lines first. And when we've done that, we then use the side of the pencil to create some shading, and particularly in the hairline. It's very light on this top of the nose, so we don't want to put too much on there. And just a little down here. Now, just underneath the eye, there's a lot of shadow, so we can put just a little more emphasis on there, and that shadow extends across the brow, again, by just going over the edge lightly with your pencil, it fades it in nicely. You can see already he's, he's looking a little cross. Now on top of that we'll go the ready ochre. Not so much of it though, we don't want much of this, it's just adding a little tone to the face, a little colour. Great. Next colour will be the dark brown. And here we can start to pick up the lines and the shadow. Around the edge of the eye. And we use this again to increase the strength of the shadow, especially in this area. And now we go back in with the ivory 
and here what we do is to just blend some of the colours. It makes it more, it makes it a little smoother. And again through here where you've got the, looks like bags under his eyes. Okay, now I'll just, just put just a little bit more depth in those very deepest markings. And I think we will leave that alone. Now, we now need to think about the eyes themselves. First thing I would do is to put in the light in the eye. Do both eyes at the same time. Now we want some ivory in this area. And there. And we want some of the ready ochre in there. Now this looks a bit severe at the moment, but by the time we tone it down with the other colours it won't be. Now in the central part of the eye we go straight in with the dark brown, but avoiding the light that we put in earlier. Now we now need to put a little bit of this dark brown into that area. And the ochre, ready ochre, into the area we put the ivory. Now the same colour went in but you see the difference. That's because we put the ivory underneath it. Now, as this is in our hand now, we go back over this area and it will change colour because we've got the brown underneath. like that and we use the brown, dark brown on the outer edge of that eye to give us the rim. If you feel as I do that those lights are losing their luster, put a little bit of white back in them. You want to keep that uh, going. Right now we are going to put the black in. First of all in the pupil, cutting round the light, and just on the very edge of the eye to give us the extra bit of depth, like that, and ever, ever so lightly on that little bit of brown that we put in earlier, on the outside ridge, like that. We do the same thing on the other side, around the light. and on the edge there and then into shaping the eye itself, just on the top. Now we need to put some detail in now, so what I'm going to do is to use the brown on the outside to give us a frame. I'm also going to use it much lighter this time, to put a little bit of weight on the top part of the eye, on both the lighter and the darker areas. You can see the difference between the two. And here is the same, a little bit there. This is putting a bit of shadow in the eye and I want to put a little bit here as well so it comes out like that. That becomes much, much more realistic. Now I'm just going to use the white to drag the white, the light, the eye across. It'll be, that's it. I'm happy with that. If, as I think it is, just a little bit heavy, just whittle it back a little with the brown. 